Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa, that monster is super scary. Phew, don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow. Poor Scout. <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That serves Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Look, it's Buster the bus. But whoa, he sure looks sleepy. He's driving off the road. Oh no, Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. And now he's stuck. Poor Buster, how will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search, too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found oh. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster oh. is free at last. <laughs> He's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back, Whoa. safe and sound in his garage. <laughs> hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the smoky mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava. 
I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no, I think the volcano is erupting. Quick, guys, get out of there. Oh no, there are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out, they'll be really hot. Oh no, Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster, faster. Phew, that was a close one. Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. Look, there's Scout, and there's Buster. I think they're playing tag. What's Buster seen? Oh, wow, a maze. Scout is going inside. Go on, Buster, try and find her. I wonder which way Scout went. There she is. <laughs> Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh look, a yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and... Which way this time? This way. Wait a minute, it's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out? There's Scout. She looks lost, too. Whoa! Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now, they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is! Good job, Scout! They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, they're still lost in the maze. Look, tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. Hey Buster, looks like another day to have fun. Oh no, it's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out, you will crash. Wait, what's happening? Oh wow, you're floating in the air. This is incredible, Buster. Hmm? <laughs> I wonder if you can fly. Oh, wow, you've turned into a superhero. You are so fast. Super Buster is here. Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no, he's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped Otis in the tunnel. You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty bandit bus. There's bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out! Poor scout. Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. Hurr. 
Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Phew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the <laughs> pond. Haha, <laughs> look at Bandit. He's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. Look, it's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. Oh no, he's eating Jessie's cake. That's not fair at all. Poor Jessie. There's Buster the Bus. And there's Bandit, driving too fast. <sighs> Look, Buster's gone to play with Scout. He's given her a soccer ball as a present. Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh-oh, he's seen Scout's ball. Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully! Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. <laughs> now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! It's a brand new day and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. 
Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no. Phew. Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. <laughs> Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs? It's a duck crossing! Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four! There! That sounds even better than before! At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did! Buster looks so excited! I wonder why! A storybook! Buster wants Mommy to read to him! Buster loves a good fairy tale! Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. 
Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow! He's getting it! Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh, Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no, the car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. Aw, oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. <laughs> Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa, some real cooking. Buster is very excited. Let's cook. Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha! This gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious. Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. 
Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! <laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops! Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Hooray! It's time for the big race. Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too. Ready, steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast. Look out! Scout is speeding ahead. Scout's taking the lead. Uh-oh, a low bridge. Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge. It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater. But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. It's a bright new morning. And Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait, I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. Oh. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. There's the wooden stick, too. And the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. But what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. 
His party has already started, but phew, they're Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present and... Whoa, it's a pinata. It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes. One more smack. Look at all those sweets. An amazing birthday present. It's the end of school, and it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one! Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no. The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm, Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Hey everyone, what a lovely sunset. I bet Buster has had so much fun in the sun. I wonder what that green slime is. Oh no, it's dropped on Buster, and I don't think he's noticed. What's happening? Something isn't right. Look at all the gravestones and pumpkins appearing. This is spooky. And what's happened to Buster? I think that green slime has changed Buster into a zombie. That's one big pumpkin digger is carving, and it looks great. Who's that? Oh no, it's Zombie Buster. Digger is really frightened, but I don't think Buster knows what he looks like. Oh look, it's Scout. Buster is so happy to see her. Oh no, she seems scared too. Oh no, Scout is hiding from Buster, just like Digger did. <sighs> Poor Buster is so upset and lonely. Come on, Scout, Buster is your friend. I think Scout has an idea. She wants Buster to follow her. Do you see now, Buster? You look like a zombie. That's why everyone is scared of you. Don't worry, Buster. Look, the slime has come off on Scout's wheel. I think Scout has a plan. A car wash? Good idea, Scout. Buster always loves a car wash. Yay, the green has gone. Buster is no longer a zombie. That was super spooky, Buster. Oh my, Scout, you sound like a werewolf. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> it's a very blustery day on the farm. Look, I think Terry has something he wants to show Buster. Hey, it's Monty, the hot air balloon. He's an old friend of Terry's. Say hello, Buster. 
It must be so much fun to be able to float through the air like a balloon. But, uh-oh, the wind is picking up. I hope Monty doesn't blow away. Oh no, the rope snapped, and now the wind is blowing Monty away. Quick, Buster, you've got to chase after him, or who knows where he'll be blown off to. Monty is so high up, how will you get him down? Look, a rope. I wonder what Buster has in mind. Hurry up, guys. You've got to get ahead of Monty. What's Buster going to do? Oh, of course, a lasso. Rope him up, cowboy. Ah, so close. But Monty is still floating away. There has to be some way to rescue Monty. <gasps> What's Buster seen now? It's Iggy the ice cream truck with lots of balloons. I think I know Buster's plan. Look, Buster's tied all the balloons to himself and now he's floating into the sky. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Grab hold of Monty, almost. Almost, almost, you've got him. Well done, Buster, you saved the day. Monty looks very grateful. Ah, <laughs> uh, Monty's tied up safely again now. He's not going to float away like that balloon. Nice work, Buster. <laughs> hey there, Buster. What's that poster there? Hmm, a fire truck? Sure looks exciting, doesn't it? Look! It's Ashley the fire truck. <laughs> I think Buster wants to join the fire brigade. Uh. <laughs> Go on, Buster. Time to get ready for your first day on the job. Just a few little changes and... <laughs> wow! Look at that. Buster really is a fire truck. He's got a ladder, a siren, <laughs> and a water hose. Uh-oh, the fire alarm. There's a fire somewhere. Ashley has to go and take care of it. You stay here, Buster. Hey, it's Tony the truck. Watch out for that puddle. Oh no! That falling box started a fire. At the fire station. What are we going to do? <gasps> Quick, Buster the fire truck, put that fire out. Uh oh, the fire has spread to the roof. Keep blasting water, Buster. Hooray, Robin is here to help. And Ashley's back, too. <gasps> You can do it if you work together. Two fire trucks are better than one. Phew! The fire is out at last. Nice work, Buster and Ashley. <laughs> Look, it's that poster again. Now it's Buster on the poster. Whoa, you really are a hero, Buster.